Hello and welcome to the Callfire introduction to the inbound IVR video. Um, the IVR interactive voice response is a very complex um, uh, XML based application. Uh, we do offer a weekly webinar on this, um, but right now I'm just going to show you kind of the very, very basic overview of what it can do in one of its most practical and common applications. And that is to use it as a menu for your incoming telephone number. So that instead of transferring directly to your business, uh, you can have people hear the kind of automated menu you would hear if you called the bank or the cable company, press one for this, press two for that. Um, so let's take a look at how that would look first of all i'm going to assume um, you already have purchased a telephone number toll for your local and then from our create page i'm going to go here to inbound ivr okay we're going to create an inbound ivr going to select any uh, one of our phone numbers of course if you only have one you won't uh, you won't have that we'll go ahead and we'll, we'll configure this one and we end up here on our xml page um, actually, yes, the entire IVR is created through XML. It's a markup language. It's a computer coding language. Uh, if you are familiar with it, uh, uh, you can just go straight ahead to the help section in Callfire and download all of our documentation on XML. Um, if you're not familiar with it, you want this button here that says show um, IVR designer. Uh, you toggle back and forth, okay? Um, the IVR designer are the series of um, the series of uh, buttons here um, that uh, uh, drag and drop. So let me just show you a little bit what that looks like. Let's say we have our phone number and uh, we want to set it up so when people call, they're given three options: press one for uh, to transfer uh, to directly to the sales department, uh, press two. Um, to hear directions of where we're located. Uh, press three to give us a message. Okay, basic three options. We'll go ahead first of all and pr uh, pull down what we call here a press menu. Okay, and we can play with all these tags too. We can move them up and down all over the place. Okay, we pull down a press menu because um, you need the menu anytime you're going to have people pressing buttons. It's just the way it is. And each menu automatically brings down one play and one key press. So let's go ahead. Uh, we're going to use the play. We'll use the text to speech. We could record our own sound. Um, hi, thanks for calling ABC Pencil Company. Uh, press one to be transferred. To the uh, to the billing department. Press two for directions to our store. Press three to leave a message. Okay, one to transfer, two for directions, three to leave a message. Cool. Okay. Uh, first thing we do is uh, let's go ahead and uh, we can give all of these names, uh, which is very useful if it's a very long IVR, but for us, eh, we're just going to go quick. So if they press 1, we're going to transfer. So if they press 1, pull down a transfer tag here. Let's move it to the right. It has to be a child of the key press. Uh, a lot of options here. Change the caller ID, pick hold music, uh, uh, all kinds of stuff. Let's just put in a, a transfer number. I'll put in the call fire um, uh, customer support line here. One, excuse me, two one three two two one two eight nine. Okay. All right. Then we need a key press two. That was one to transfer. Okay, two is just recorded message. Uh, our directions are our directions, so let's put there. We'll play here. Uh, we are located at 123 Main Street, whatever we want to put there. And finally, we said key press three, which is just for uh, leave us a message. So for key press three, we'll pull down a message here and we have a record tag. Now that was really, really fast, and I realized it, but uh, 
this is why we have for you uh, the webinar and all the other documentation online. Because here we have the menu, we have our instructions in the first play tag, and then one, two, three key presses, each one uh, to do a different thing. One will transfer, two will play a message, and three will record. You know, then we can go ahead and okay, hang up there. We don't need a hang up here because it's going to transfer. We can put a hang up here. We'll make that look good. And finally, we can even put, here's a little extra one down here. We'll put down here a key press. Um, we'll call this one, we can call this key press timeout. Meaning if they just sit there and do nothing, okay, if they sit there and don't make a selection, what we'll do, we'll put a go to, and we'll go to here. We'll call this the intro. So what we'll do is if they don't do anything, We'll give them a key press timeout and we'll send them back to the intro. That's why we have to name them. So there's a, there we go, there's our basic tree. Introduction, couple key presses, timeout here, we, it's not a one, two, three obviously, but timeout is just one of our basic stock responses that we have there. Uh, timeout, um, again, you can find, uh, we'll go ahead and finalize. And there it is, uh, this is the one we configured. If we click on it, we look at our XML. Here's all the coding we did. You see, it's all done on the back end in the code. Click designer, there it is. Click code, there it is. Um, and that's basically it. Um, up at the right, notice we have help. Um, click on, um, I click on all help documents. And then what you can do is call fire XML, which is right here. And here you can get all of the information that you need. Um, the basics, the tags that we saw, here's all the tags. Um, we have, uh, there's lots of them, uh, and how they all work. Or please go ahead and give us a call at 213-221-2289, uh, and uh, we'll be happy to walk you through it. Okay, thanks so much for watching our very brief introduction to the Callfire IVR.